Hello, this is Ozan Uzun from IBM Lab Services Turkey. And today I am going to show you the MPIV and virtual SCSI support in Power VC. Let's see. This is my lab setup. In my lab setup, I have two Power 7 Linux machines, physical servers. One store wise storage you can see here and two rocket switches as you know with the latest version of PowerVC we can use virtual SCSI and NPIV at the same time or just one when we click configuration there are some tabs here and the one that I want to show you is the storage connectivity groups first for example if you want if you want to use MPIV or virtual SCSI you can create groups here the default one is MPIV but for this example let's create another one this is let's give a name virtual SCSI testing and you can see we can even change the boot volume type and data volume type let's make it just full virtual SCSI you can see that uh, there is support for even for virtual IO servers for my lab setup one virtual server is ready is enough not ready let's add my virtual IO server servers as you can see these are my physical servers and these are the virtual IO servers running on top of them you see let's repeat my boot volume and data volume types are in virtual SCSI because I am just using one virtual IO server for each machine I'm just selecting one virtual IO server at least because this is a test system and I am adding the virtual IO servers which are eligible and candidate for this connectivity group when I click this you can see another virtual SCSI oh, another uh, storage connectivity group has been created and you see the boot volume type are virtual SCSI let's see how that works in practic so let's come here I have one image which has already been captured from a reddit server let's try to deploy this one when I click deploy you see there are some uh, resource specifications here I can just click just medium or I can just edit it I can select on which uh, physical server I will install it or let uh, PowerVC decide for me which is another topic you see I had two uh, storage connectivity gr group setups the one that I am going to use for this example is full versus SCSI testing let me give you a, an IP address I select my network and deploy it you see my virtual servers is re ready for deployment and it already began deploying and this is a deployment with virtual SCSI adapters let's validate this where is it you can see the virtual server that we try to deploy on PowerVC is already in the HMC let's see the profile of it I selected virtual SCSI as connectivity and you will see that it is already 
created automatically by PowerVC. You see, client, SCSI, and Wyo already mapped here and also on Wyo. Thank you.